Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video with me Sherman. Today guys I'm back in Salt 2 and today I'm going to show you guys a little bit about sailing and talk a little bit more about my experiences with this game. So right now I need to head south a little bit. I have a little adventure I need to go on. Now the reason I'm starting on the boat is because uh, before the video I went and did some hunting. I did some fishing just to kind of get... Um, so a little bit of food because I was running low and I don't want to run too low I don't have uh, recipes to cook this stuff yet like the lean stuff so I'm kind of holding off on that I've got this quality venison I can't cook yet so I'm just kind of uh, gonna go do a little pl uh, island exploration oops that's a bug report let me um let me pull my sextant out and let's see where we are on the map so i'm going to bypass this island we're going to go down to <coughs> excuse me we're going to go down to this island because i have a quest here uh, i'm supposed to find some ancient rope and turn it in back at the island i was just at so kind of want to you know go do that so i know that i need to go around this side of the island Need to head a little southwestish to get to the big island. So we're gonna just set the boat. Check where we are again. We're right at the island itself, so that's good. There's a little hunting shack over there, which is kind of nice. I believe that's what that is. Uh, it's a camp, but still, you know, gonna go ahead and just keep heading on southwest. And as you see, you the the sailing in the game is pretty... Ooh, there's an island over there I see off in the distance. Um, I really should just go to this island. We're, gonna, we're just going to go here. I think this is the island I need to go to. I'm not sure. We're going we're gonna to get off the wheel. Open the map again. Uh, get our sextant out check where we are no this might be a new island we'll see we'll get closer and then check again so as I, I was saying in my last video I really do enjoy the game and you know it, it doesn't matter to me if a game is like oh yeah this is this is definitely where we need to go that looks like a big island that is that a big island and a small island next to it that's the question. So we're going to pull up alongside it over here just to kind of see. I'm going to I'm going to kind of scoot in here. Let's go ahead and check the map again. So yeah, that is the big island. All right. That's the island I need to go to. And we're going to actually pull in on this side because I do want to check out that other island that I saw out there. That would be kind of really uh, cool to go and look at. Now, there is a bug, and the, the devs know about it with the generating islands stuff. It'll kind of lag out your game a little, but, you know, it's not really, like, a big major problem, to be honest. All right, now what we do is we pull up our sail, and the boat should come to a rest and stop. All right, there we go. Then we get off the boat, and we got to find... Uh, let's see, what does the, the adventure say? The quest. Found in an ancient ruins chest. I should find the rope and return to the researcher. Now, the researcher was back on the island we were just at. Um, they're at a camp near some of the stuff. I'm going to be grabbing supplies along the way. Mainly because of the fact that, you know, I want to survive. I want to live a little bit longer. So... All right, there's a deer. Oh, man, he's going to run. I wish I would have got a cleaner shot on him, um, but unfortunately I didn't. And that, that, that happens. That happens quite a bit. So it moved. Did it hear me running? I doubt it. I think it was just in near the water and it freaked out. It was like, oh, my God, where do I go? Got it. Oh, my gosh. Clean shot in the neck. Perfect. Got some venison. Gonna head in. I saw some ruins. 
<clears throat> so these might be the ruins I need to go to. I saw them over here. Um, where the ancient rope might be. Now, it doesn't mean... Now, when you when you get one of these quests and it says ancient rope, you know, it tells you to go to the ancient ruins, there could be multiple sets of ruins on a large island that you have to go and uh, look through. Now, I do need to find... Probably want to look for some potions. I'm going to switch over to my mace here because these are skeletons and my mace does more damage to skeletons and I really don't want to be fighting a lot of skeletons at once so I'm going to try and get uh, oh gosh I was hoping to just get one ah, come on come on oh, oh, oh four 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 okay got both of them all right they one had a healing potion that's good all right And I hit level 13, so I did gain a level from that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and loot up what I can, because I don't think I've been here to these ruins yet. So I did see another skeleton over this way. I don't know where he's at. want to kind of hunt him down. And it looks like I might have been here before, because, like, I this door... Okay, this didn't have a door. Ooh, nope. I've never been in here. That's good. That's a good sign. <laughs> Ooh, is that a... No, that's an adventurer's bow. Alright, flint. Can always use more flint. Can always use more worms. There's some gold on the counter. Get that. I don't know if I want to grab more bottles, but I go through them so fast with cooking and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I don't know if I need wooden bowls either, but you know, you never know. You never, ever know what you'll need and it looks like these ruins could have a cave or an underground to them so we're gonna uh, come on just 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 die all right i need these these will give me potion healing potion stuff check these crates worm Worms! He's got worms! Alright. Need that. Is there any more of that? No. Alright, we got one more skeleton it looks like. There's a pickaxe there. I'm not going to grab it. And there could be a cave here, so... At these ruins, I don't know. Because that's just regular rope. And it could be, I mean, heck, I don't know. It could be in one of these bags, for all I know. Let's see. Is there a cave? There is a cave. So it could be, and most likely might be, in this cave. So I'm going to go ahead and use a potion. Get my health up a little. I'm going to wait a few seconds and use one more. Because I don't know how many enemies are going to be in here. Alright. We're in the cave. Now, there might be a skeleton in here. There might not. I don't know. Let's just go down here. We'll get this, this. I just looted everything without even looking. That was really smart. All right, we're going to get this. Because the more resources you have, you know, of course, always better. All right, let's go ahead and let's see. Is that ancient rope? No, that's regular rope. Ancient wrote probably have like a really cool like, you know, oh you found the ancient rope kind of thing. I do like the underground too because I've been in it. Now it was one cave and it was like the first cave I was in. It had like a thing where you had to break through a back wall to go into a new area. And I was like, oh this is cool. But I, I really haven't found another thing like that, so. I'm going to grab those. There's usually a chest back here, so this might be where the, um, the Brigand Charm, Warlord's Token, 
overseer's mace and a map to a seaport that might be pretty good this might be actually really like a good find right there and that's another trinket that i can wear so that'll be a bonus and like i said there can be multiple sets of ruins on an island so i might have to do some more searching for the the ancient rope I always use more more monies. Nothing in there. Nothing there. Let's see. Anything over here? Some more mushrooms. Can definitely use cave mushrooms for potions and other things. Right, get some more copper. And I'm sorry if the game seems a little blah to some people, but. For people like me, who, who've been around the gaming industry for, you know, been around gaming for so long, it's nice to have a game you can just chill and play and have fun with. I'll grab it. You know what? I'm just going to grab all of it. There's some more coins there I missed. There's some skulls. I wish you could grab, like, uh, a lot more of the items and stuff. There's a book here. Slave King's Expert. No. Let's see. There's that. Ooh, a cutlass. Is it a pirate cutlass, though? Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Alright, here we go. Going outside. Might be me getting near nighttime. It is. So it might be a good idea to find, like, a place to sleep or something for the night. I can rest at the fire pit. I'll just do that. morning all right is this copper yeah we'll get some more of this so since it doesn't tell me it just said at ancient ruins there's also that up there we could go check out let's go see what that is because I mean anything with fog around it usually means something bad is there so let's um, head up that way. Keep my eyes open for any other ancient ruins. Oh, you know what? It might be an ancient rope that somebody was hung by. Well, there's some arrows. Poor guy. Sorry you guys got hung. I don't know what human bones are for, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be for something you never know got a fishing lure some wood all right well nothing at those ancient ruins we'll keep looking we'll keep exploring wow it is that is a sun rise oh my god i didn't see him there Okay, well, I died. The nice thing is, is that it does respawn you at your ship if you do die, but it does heal the enemy that you are fighting, so that bears at full health now. And yeah, you can you can stay over there. Like we we don't need to go that way. <laughs> now, if I could have got a few arrow shots on him or something, that would have been uh, pretty good to get that at least. Now, some of you might be wondering why I just keep looting and looting and looting and taking stuff. You go through a decent chunk of resources a lot of times just because of things like arrows, um, potions, uh, cooking ingredients. Because some of the recipes require you to have certain um, ingredients and they're not like abundant. I'll put it that way. There's a purple one. There we go. And when I was talking in the last video about the survival aspects of the game, like, 
the survival aspects of this game are done in such a way that it's it's actually really well done in the fact that it you know you can carry as much uh, stuff as you want you're not hindered by your weight limit um, you can you know you can craft in any uh, cooking fire you can crack food craft food and there's usually like several crafting uh, stations throughout an area which also adds to you know that that extra element of hey there's this and I, am I I must be I hope I'm on the right the right map because or the right island let's see no I'm not I need to be on that island oh my gosh so I just I've been searching the wrong island guys and I apologize but since we are here we're gonna go ahead and make a map of it and we're gonna put on here that there was ruins and there was a treasure chest that we looted and that there was a hangman's noose what could we put for the hangman's noose i don't want to put skeletons because there's no skeletons i think we'll just leave it like it is and there was you know i did some mining here but we'll go ahead and leave that alone all right well that was um yeah my fault guys i, I apologize so you know everyone everyone makes mistakes not all perfect I'm gonna go ahead and oh there's a deer there's a deer we need to get that deer so whoa that was clean raw deer meat all right we're gonna go ahead and just call our boat in over here and um, that way we have it's you know right here oh Jesus bears good to eat too all right go ah, I don't want to use a potion I'm gonna eat something as well I'll do but let me go ahead and um, call my my boat in it's all way out there every time it's like Heck, I could swim across the ocean. I do love the underwater of the game, though. And if you don't think that this ocean gets deep... Oh, yes. Yes, it does. It's scarier than heck. And I'm a person who freaks out in deep water in video games, so... Congrats on the devs for creating such a... A spooky situation underwater. Yeah. All right, we're going to craft up a few things here. Um, I could probably craft more morning dew. See, this is why I do this. I get so many ingredients is because you need so much for this other stuff. I'm going to go ahead and cook up that many. That way I have the um, a lot of the cooking oil because if you look here, like the crab stew requires cooking oil. The fried bass requires cooking oil. I think the these ones don't. These ones are just like, you just cook them. Let's go ahead and eat something. Inventory, food. We got some stuff here. We'll go ahead and eat the bear. Uh, because it gives a lot of health. And let's go ahead and head off to the other island. And sometimes you got to be really quick with this stuff. Because otherwise you wind up running into things. Ooh, there was a good wave over there. Sometimes you can find areas where there's like really good waves. And then other times, here we go, loading screen. This doesn't happen too often. But. Alright. Now if you just let go of the wheel, your boat will just kind of uh, straighten out on its own. All right, we are here. Now we get to go look for some ancient pirate ruins. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my mace just to be on the safe side. I should have eaten some more food, but, you know, I think I'm, I'm going to do okay. I'm going to be okay here. If not, I can always eat um, 
one of my crabs crab meat things. Alright, let's find these ancient ruins on the island. There's a big rune over there, but I don't think that's it. And with the bit with the island being much bigger, it takes a lot a, a lot more time to explore and find what you're looking for. Is that a boar? That looks like a boar. Oh, it was. We're gonna we are gonna chase it and and hopefully catch it. Hopefully it'll be up by that ruin. No, it's running way past it. Let's go ahead and sprint a little. We'll get up on this hill and then go crouch again. And see if we can spot him down there. He might be Oh, he's right there. He's running again. I oh my gosh, that was perfect. Sorry if I if I seem a little excited. You don't get a lot of clean shots like that in the game, so that was, for me, that was perfect. Alright, we got a cave possibly here? And maybe? Yep, we got a cave. So we're going to go explore this cave and see if uh, this might be where the ancient rope is. Because, uh, you know... And there might be something else in here. Something more exciting to fight. There is a person. A smuggler. Should I use that or should I use um, my, my axe? No, that doesn't do... You know what? Let's try the dagger. Let's try the stealthy dagger. Let's see if we can sneak up on it. Nope, he saw me. <laughs> He had a loot cave, a uh, loot cave key. That's cool. And he had a beautiful dagger. Let's go ahead and let's just take all his smuggled goods. <laughs> Which apparently isn't much. Nope. Let's check this. Alright, here we go. Is this it? No, this is all cooking stuff. That's cool. Let's uh, go over here and see what we find. Healing potion. Healing potions are always good. Let's see. Swabby's axe. Don't need that. What do we got on here? Some gold. We got a book. Captain Zypher's log. Awesome. I would want. I I would normally read that, but since I'm recording, I'm not going to. But I will. Um mark this for a later time and come back here there's a, a pirate cutlass I'm, I don't really need a pirate cutlass did I search these nope what about that thick rope okay maybe that's what it is I got maybe it maybe it's not in this this isn't ruins anyways. So we'll go ahead and grab these mushrooms. Um, let's grab these mushrooms. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab these bottles over here. And that rope. I, d I don't know if I need the rope ever. But let's check this rope here. That's a regular rope. I'm not going to worry about grabbing that one. Let's check this rope. That's just regular rope. And... <clears throat> you know what? We're going to go ahead and mine this out. I need to make an iron pickaxe too really soon because like I'm getting up to level 20 with the uh, mining and you never know like when you'll need it. Alright. Let's go ahead and use a potion. Uh Okay, let's um let's go ahead and back out. That was a pretty cool little little sight thing, you know, adventure. <coughs> Apologize for having to clear my throat while recording. Let's go ahead and get the mace out just in case. 
Oh, look at that. Right in front of us. Should I crouch? Yeah, I should probably crouch. Oh, I missed him. Let's go this way. Let's just chase him down. Right in the butt. Good job. Good job. Gonna chase that one down, too. Oh, come on. Now, you can retrieve arrows, but they're really hard to see with the, the grass and everything. And you can even turn the grass down if you want. I don't do that because I primarily just like the game the way it is. So, all right, let's see what this, let's see if we can get a one-shot kill on this deer. such a great like the hunting in this it's not like you know the best hunting of any game but for what it offers again it's it's one of those things where you're like they did just just enough to get to get it done right I hate that puzzle on that island i hate it but i need to figure it out so i will be going back someday and doing it there's a it's a really it's like a literal puzzle so we'll definitely be heading back to check that out so far I'm not seeing a lot of ruins on this island I mean there's ruined like ruined areas but not like well maybe that's a ruin maybe that no no, that's not it. Well, let's go. I'm going to go inland. Maybe it's all... They're all inland. Oh, gosh. There's a bear. What kind of bear is that? Be just a regular black bear. Would be perfect. Because I really need to go into the center of the island to see if I can find some ruins. So many animals. It's a black bear. Okay, I'm almost up to level 10 with my sword. That's that's a good sign. That means I'm, you know, becoming a, a true adventurer. There has to be some ancient runes here. Because I'm on the other side of the island now. that the ancient ruins or is that a, a camp that looks like it could be a camp it looks like a weaver's camp like because they have a, a loom outside I wonder what they're doing out here well, let's see what this is ooh job board um Three shiny deer antlers, and it pays four silver and a treasure chest. This is a drinking game, a fishy friend, petty things. I mean, apparently, you have no quest completed by mail. Crafting loom, little fire pit. Is this a tailor person? Like a clother? An outfitter, it is. Who are you? A battle worn necklace, an elegant artisan's ring, a ravager's band. Wow, he has a, a scuffed diamond. I don't know, like, that's a lot of silver. Five silver? Uh, no, well, I'm sorry, dude. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna sell off all this other stuff I have. That's. I don't think this stuff really is worth anything. 
or is necessary. Oh, so I don't need wooden bowls. Okay, or spoons. They're just worth a little silver or copper. Do I need any treasure maps? I need to go through my maps and see what I have. Look at all this rope. Like, this is just for decorations on your ship. I don't think I need that many. We'll, we'll take it down to like three. Got some keys. Got a lot of fish and, and meats and stuff. Like cooking stuff. Or ingredients for crafting. I, I, I was thinking about selling my raft, but it says it has no value, so I'm not going to. And I have these two things I need to learn. Let's see. And do I have anything here? I have this. Strength and Dexterity. Where's my other... Oh, I can just equip this. Okay. And it has two... It has a talent on it. Um, that's the Adventurer's Bow. That's the, a different one than what I have equipped. Pretty sure. Pretty sure? Okay. I, I need to buy those back. Because those are my actual things. And that dagger, 1 to 6 and 4 to 14. Where's my other dagger? 2 to 8 and 4 to 16. See, that seems a lot, but that does minus 5 to constitution. And this does plus 2 to agility, plus 2 to dexterity. So we're going we're gonna to do that. Let me um, go in here. Let's look at the, the dagger and see what it has. Oh, da extra damage to bears. And bonus to Constitution or Dexterity. We're going to take that. We're going to save it. And then we're going to go to our equipment and put it right here. There it is. Beautiful dagger. I'll take that. Extra four damage against bears. Yes, please. So. All right. Well, thanks a lot, dude. You have a nice day. There's a house, we found a cave on the island, we just need to find the ruins. The ancient ruins. So the ancient ruins must be over this way. Oh, there they are. There they are. And I don't even know if those are the, the actual ancient ruins. This could be just like a old building that's been knocked down. I don't think there's even going to be a cave here. Let's go ahead and equip our mace just to be safe because it could be skeletons. And I don't know if I want to use a potion or... Let me eat something. We'll go ahead and eat this. And we should be... Yeah, we're good. We're good. Pirate Cutlass. Interrogation. I think I've looted this. I think I've been here before. Let's see. Oh, his hands. Yeah, I remember this guy. He had his hands bound. So, I don't think these are the ancient ruins either. Oh, it might be. Precious stalker's coat, rusty lamp, and a warden's token. Okay, well, we found some new armor and stuff. Alright, let's check out the new armor. Let's see. Four armor. It's not as good as what I have. This is got some talents on it. Staff Master. We'll take the armor, we'll take the strength, and we're going to equip it. Because we can have two of those equipped. We're not going to worry too much about this, even though it has some pretty decent uh, things on it. But as you can see here, this has strength and constitution, and that's what I put into. I could have put an extra point into armor. So, And then we got some skill points in the mace. We can upgrade our mace stuff now. Heavy attacks of bludgeoning weapons deal 1 to 4 more damage. 
reduces the target's armor. There we go. Okay. I'm definitely getting a few of my crafting things up there. Uh, some are just taking longer than others. I'm going to use the fire pit real quick when it gets dark. Gosh, I really want to keep going. You know what? Forget it. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep looking and see if we can find the other ancient ruins because those weren't the ancient ruins. Um, my bow and stuff. I need to re-equip that stuff. So inventory, weapons, uh, bow, two, three, there we go. So. Okay, he's been looted. Go ahead and use a potion. There's something down here. Another hangman's uh, hangman's noose area. There's a deer over there. Let me go ahead and get this deer. We'll check that hangman noose out right afterwards, and then we'll keep looking for more ancient ruins, I guess. Ooh, I saw the deer move. Wow, that is like some clean arrow shots. That's all I'm going to say. Gosh, I should really go back and use a fireplace or a fire pit. Um, uh, uh, he didn't, they didn't have anything. Broken climbing gear. I mean, you'll be able to also see at night some of the runes and stuff, but there's a, a candelera down there, a, a torch. Well, a lantern. Let's see. That's ominous. Oh, okay. This might be the ancient ruins we're looking for. I don't know if these are the ancient ruins you're looking for, but you can go check. Restless Sanctum. Oh, Jesus. Right. I guess I, I might have been here. I don't know. That's a house. Need a lockpick. If it's in that house, I'm going to be so mad. Well, no, because I can craft a lockpick. I saw another skeleton. Right there. I'm going to go ahead and rest till morning. And maybe we can... Oh... Okay, so we need to use this. We need to eat. That's bass. I want to save that. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and do this. That was not that's an ancient chest so let me see this is a workbench I should be able to I think no I can't I can make arrows here though and I can make healing potions so I'll make one of those I'll make a, a few arrows there that oh you know what we'll do we'll take it up to where we're, we're level 12 maybe maybe make a fishing lure or two
yeah, we should be good. Now, if I could find the crafting table here for... I, I could just call my ship, like, go call it down by the water there. But let's go inside the cape. Let's Maybe it's something I missed in here. Well, no, I never finished this place. I don't think I did. I think I died in here. I don't remember, honestly. Alright, let's go ahead and head around this way. Is there any undead down there? I don't see any. And it might even ask me for an ancient key in here to unlock the chest. It's a good thing I made these arrows. See what this says. Lock chest, ancient key required. Hey, you got a you got a, a thing on you, dude, a sword. Alright, let me go ahead and get this, and then we'll go call the boat and I'll make an ancient key and a lockpick, and we'll check out that house and the that right there. Yeah, see I died to the cultists when I came in here last time. Um, I did loot as much as I could because I snuck around. So, I just didn't get everything. Alright, let's go ahead and head back up. I'm going to, like I said, do, like I said, call this stuff. Oh my gosh, I just, stupid me. Alright, should be able to call my boat in, like, right here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my thing ready. Nope, still calls it way out in the ocean. That's alright, though. I don't know what workbench or what thing station I need to use to make the key, but we'll go and figure it out. So, let's see. This is a woodworking station. Uh, I doubt that's the one. This is a workbench, not that one. Maybe it's up here at the um, smelter? There's the ancient key. We'll craft that. And then I have a thing called a lockpick. A lockpick. Can... Oh, I'm missing a moon rock to craft a lockpick. Man. Oh. Alright, let's just go check the ancient chest. I'm guessing you probably get a moon rock for mining. So. But hopefully the ancient chest does have the ancient rope in it that we're looking for. But again, like I said, this is like some of the things I like about the game is it's... There it is, the ancient rope. What else did we get? A clean adventures ring, dusty dining table recipe, emerald, scholar's drink, warrior's whatever. Alright, we'll take it all. We got the rope. Return to the fisherman, lone fisherman, 
or send via mailbox. Okay, so I can go to the mailbox and send it. But I'm not going to do that. We're just going to continue on our, our journey here. But guys, I mean, that's pretty much what the game is. Is what you can do so far. Just exploration, adventure, with some RPG elements, survival elements. And I don't know, they did just did they just did such a good job with this game as a whole that I just feel like the the game itself is just well put together. So I'm up north here, so I can probably just sail around the island that way and But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say about the game other than this is what um, Salt 2 is really all about. It's about exploration, adventure, um, you know, exploring the world. Overseer's Mace, we're going to learn that. I'm going to learn these real quick. Brawler's Club Recipe. Sounds cool. Wood, uh, light Wood Crates. Rusty lampposts. These are things I, I think a lot of these are probably things that I can craft at the woodworking station that go in my house. So let's see. This is all crafting materials. That's the stuff I can craft here. Woodworking bench? No. Uh, here we go. So I, there's the sand, uh, sandy bed. That's the one I have already. There's the dusty dining table. There's the lightwood crate. And there's the rusty lamppost. And the, I already have the rickety dresser. So yeah, it's just stuff you can craft for on your ship and things like that if you want stuff. Uh, there's the Brawler's Club. 2d8, 5 to 15. Not bad. With two talents. Let's see. I think there was the Explorer's Mace. 2d8, 2 to 15. 4 to Constitution. Okay, what was the first one? I don't remember. Um, strength and Agility. And then I have the other one down here. I forget what it's called. The over Oh, this is the other Overseer's Mace. So this is Strength and Constitution. I have the Explorer's Mace. And then there was an amulet I could make. I know that much. Ravager's Amulet. And I think there was an amulet I could make. Maybe not. Commander's ring. Oh, I did pick up a th uh, an item in there. That's right. I picked up this ring, which is two to dexterity, two to agility. Um, and this one has talents, so I could put strength on it, or constitution, and or I could put strength and strength or strength and constitution. And let's go back in and see now. Now it should be, yeah. See that might be pretty good. To replace with this, so so go ahead and equip it. And we have the amulet equipped, so we're we're doing pretty good. I mean, this isn't, um, you know, like I know again, this isn't ideal for everyone, but f again, for what it has to offer, it's it's a really good game for twelve ninety nine. Go check it out for yourselves. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That is what Salt's all about. Exploration, adventure, you know, getting into fights, hunting animals. It's, you know, is it the best game on the market? No. But what it has to offer, again, for the price is really good. And it's really fun. And to me, that's what makes a game, uh, you know, be good is is when they're like this when they're you know just a fun game to play and and you're not sitting there stressing about different things and all that so like as always with all my videos guys you guys know what's coming next if you guys want to see more videos by me you can subscribe if you do subscribe or actually if you do like the video hit that like button first and then if you want to subscribe subscribe and if you want uh, more than that, you can hit that notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. Other than that, I want to thank you all for watching this video with me today and uh, enjoying the content, I hope. And if you did, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more videos on salt, 
uh, gameplay by Salt, maybe a playthrough of Salt too. Um, let me know and I, I can do that. Uh, or I can just continue on from my journey here and and you guys let me know. Alright guys, other than that, that's it. So, until next time, have a wonderful day. And this guy might see you in game. Bye!